Hi folks and welcome to today's video, bird dog exercise modifications for herniated disc recovery. Now, I do make a lot of great content for those folks out there suffering with low back pain issues such as herniated discs, bulging discs, sciatica nerve pain, SI joint pain issues. If that's you, hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified, we'll make some great content for you guys, it's uploaded and it does help the algorithm help myself and help others looking for that content as well. But without further ado, let's get into today's video. So folks, today I would like to go over some modifications that you can make to the bird dog exercise, which will help you on the road to recovery. Now, before I get into that, I would like to ask folks, people watch this channel who are generally recovering from low back pain issues, sciatica nerve pain, bulging discs, etc., SI joint pain, if that's you, if I've not covered an aspect of recovery or exercise or something you'd like to know more about, please hit me up in the comment section and let me know. I'm looking for ideas for content which is going to help you guys on that road to recovery. All right. Anyway, let's get into the exercise. So the bird dog exercise, it's given pretty much bog standard um, across most of low back pain recovery. It looks something like this. We're down on all fours here. and. Let's get into position. We're not excessively arched, not excessively rounded, neutral spine. And we're doing alternating, pushing my leg back. It goes, projects away from me. Pull my shoulder back. We sweep the floor and finish. I'm back. Now, quite often, a couple of things. That, this exercise could be too much for you. You don't have the stability to do arms and legs together hold yourself in that position. So how would you back it up a little bit to make it easier for the person to do? Because if there is a lot of instability in the lower back, the person has a lot of pain, they may not be able to do the full exercise. And sometimes if you're given an app for your physiotherapy, which you might think is crazy, but it did happen to one of the ladies I know uh, in the UK, <clears throat> she was given an app to follow. There's nobody there to help you regress the exercise and progress it. So here's a couple of tips for you, okay? First thing is position. If you are unstable with the classic position, which is knees but hip width apart, hands under your shoulders, then simply open your knees wider, open your hands wider. It gives you a wider base of support, so there's less chance, I'll show you from the angle, that when I lift a leg or an arm, I'm falling over. A wider base of support will allow for more stability. To bring it back, even further to the beginning, how I like to teach it, is just do the arms first. So we're in position here, and just the arms, and come back. So do one arm for maybe four repetitions, take a second, come off your shoulders, shake out the arms, go back, and then another four reps on the other arm. You do a couple of sets of those, do that for two or three days, feels okay, then you can try just the legs. Now just the legs, I'll show you just off to the side here. Again, I'll use the wider stance on my stability, get that spine in the starting, not excessively rounded, not excessively arched, find neutral, and then I'm just gonna push back one leg, hold, one, two, bring it back. Push, hold, one, two, bring it back. Again, do my four reps on one side, change the other side, couple of sets, try that for two, three days, no issues, then I would slowly bring in arms and legs together. So it's about breaking down the exercise, bringing it back a few steps, and then you can progress it forward. However, you might be saying, well, Colin, I can't even get down on the floor, I'm in so much pain, my knees, my hips, etc." you can adapt it to do it standing. Not a lot of people know this, but you can do it from a standing position. Let me show you. So we'll just get rid of this mat for a second. We'll bring in my boxes here. Now, this could be back of a high chair, back of the couch, and you want to get this into position here, and you want to walk away from the object and again, we'd start just with the hands, get a spine in, sort of not excessively rounded, not excessively arched, neutral position, just the arms, and back, just the arms, and back. 
when we feel comfortable, we can go for the legs. Now, of course, you're not going to hyperextend it backwards. You're just going to lift it off, maintain stability. You don't fall, rotate to the side, fall to the left. Okay, we just squeeze the glute, squeeze, hold. A couple of seconds, place it back. Squeeze, hold, place it back. We can progress that. We can go lower position. So, it's actually, it's off to the side. So now it's a lower box, chair, bench. We're gonna hip hinge, walk those feet back. Neutral position of the spine, not excessive rounded, not excessively arched, neutral. And again, we'll use the arms first. One, two, back. Again, four reps each side, couple of sets. We can then progress to the legs. Now we can move a little bit further back, hold and return. Squeeze glutes, hold and return. Of course, the ultimate progression is going to be arms and legs together. So here it's going to be right leg, left arm. Bring it up slowly, control, hold and return. Brace that core, squeeze, hold and return. And then come the time, we can progress onto the floor if our knees and hips are able to get us there. So just some really simple, quick, little modifications that you can do to a common, commonly used rehabilitation exercise that can let you get the results that you need. Because quite often, people will be put off if they can't do it, if it's too painful. So you have to learn how to modify it. If you're doing it at home yourself or with your physio, they should be able to adapt it to make it doable for you. All right, guys, listen, questions, comments, hit me up in the comment section down below. Questions also in the uh, comment section down below. You want to reach out to me with a question, my email is in the description. Please hit me up. I do always reply to all the emails I receive. Have a great day, guys. See you next time.